6,800 and 10 pounds. We got a Springdale 290. Well, no, it used to be 293. Now it's a 2930. Um, this went from the Springdale series, which is the fully loaded, full feature version, uh, to the previously known as Summerlin, now called Springdale SS series here at Halid RV, which is funny because SS just stands for Summerlin series, but we don't call it that anymore. Um, it's the same floor plan, the same layout. They just cleaned up the equipment a little bit. What they were finding is that uh, the people who are looking for this couples camp and half ton towable rear kitchen layout right here, they were trying to stay a little more budget conscious. Uh, and that's kind of what's cool about the Springdale family. Your Summerland, previously known, now your, your SS series and your full Springdale, they have uh, the same structure. The only thing that's different is just the equipment and trim package on it. And what's nice is having the same structure uh, has helped this thing earn, uh, actually this is the only travel trailer in its class, meaning wood skeleton, aluminum frame, also called stick and tin construction sometimes, that has earned DSI quality awards in the last three years. It's the only one and it's earned them consecutively. So with that, I say with confidence that Keystone is building the single highest quality stick built trailer on the market. And I have the numbers to back me up because they're the only ones to win that award. Not once, but three times in a row in their category. They're the only ones. It's incredible. Now, what's kind of cool about these is this is, it's not like this is the stripped down version. It's the Springdale is the SS Plus. The SS series that we're looking at right here, it's this, I call it like the, the, the simple smart series. Um, you've still got a fully enclosed heated underbelly and they have one of the largest furnaces in their class with a 30,000 BTU furnace. Um, that's the same thing that they have on like Cougars guys so they're using the, a lot of the same procedures here that they use on their their big flashy fancy laminated fifth wheel and travel trailers. Here on this what you would consider generally to be an entry level uh, trailer but it's it's so much more than that. Calling this entry level is really such a, a disservice to this product. Um, they have uh, standard power stabilizer jacks, power awning. Now we've put a power tongue jack on this one just so that you can kind of complete the package so that everything on this is push button simple. Well, those are nice upgrade features. That doesn't really fall into the entry level category, but they, they wanted to make this simple, fun, streamlined, and smart, you know? That's what they've done so well here. It is backup camera ready. We can walk all over that roof. Um, this actually has the same one-piece Dynaspan floor decking on it that you find on a Montana luxury fifth wheel, which is the single best-selling fifth wheel out there in Montana. Also a DSI quality award-winning brand. So Keystone's got just an absolute dynamite build structure going on here. Now there's a lot of little things they've done on the uh, Springdale and SS series too to help combat weather and heat expansion. So this thing is filthy. And by the way, if you want to see if we have one of these in stock and available, visit the link in our video description that says check for price and availability. You'll see if we have one in stock, uh, how it's equipped and what we're asking. And what's important about that is we don't do hidden dealer fees. So you see all this salt and road spray that comes in this time of year in the Midwest? That all washes away. We take care of that at no additional charge before you guys take this home. But what I'm getting at is the darker aluminum bands down here, they make them thicker so that it fights heat expansion. Up top, they use very short height aluminum bands. You can see those extra horizontal lines right there as compo compared to the rest of the sidewall. It costs a little extra labor time, but again, it fights heat expansion. And where that's really critical is this thing is uh, doing its best to fight heat expansion and contraction uh, where it's most critical. That is where the wall meets the floor and where the wall meets the roof. This thing is trying to hold itself together instead of spread and split itself apart. Smarter, right? <laughs> Now the windows are UV tinted. I point that out because not every trailer in this category has that. Uh, the entry door is an anti-slam sort of entry door so it doesn't go flinging around in the breeze. Nice triple step to make life uh, easy coming and going. Um, the uh, tires are nitro fill. I understand the logic and the theory behind that. I've never yet had anyone really produce me any sort of proven testing data or testimonial that, gee, I'm so much happier with my um, nitro fill tires than a standard air filled tire. Uh, I, I haven't seen any of that. Now, along with their uh, amazing service record, and boy do these have it. These absolutely have a dynamite service record here at Halo RV. And in this category, we also carry J Flights by Jayco, Cherokees by Forest River, which are the number one and two selling travel trailers out there. And they're fantastic in their own right, don't get me wrong. But if what you're looking for is the best built, highest quality thing, well, apparently these guys are, I think I already showed the uh, pass through here, but I've been doing so much yak and I'm having trouble keeping track. Um, you know what? 
I think we're pretty much good on the outside. I do want to mention that three-year structural warranty. I also do want to talk about how they're not all created equal. Not all three-year structural warranties cover the same things. Keystones is hands down the most comprehensive and most involved and covers the most things. So there's something to, not only is this thing performing under the standard warranty, but they also cover more things longer. How about that? Let's, let's go inside. Now, I've always personally preferred a rear kitchen over a rear living room, and there are advantages to both, certainly. Um, the, uh, you know, overall, rear living rooms seem to be vastly more popular than rear kitchens in the industry. And the, uh, I've, I've done videos on that topic. That's a whole separate topic. Um, if you'd like to see uh, what I mean by that, check out the Hey Let's Learn About Stuff playlist on our YouTube channel, or, or we can just give us a call. We'll send you a link. Anyway, what I like about this, though, is that it's very social. You can see the seating, it's very inward focused. You know, it's very social, it's interactive. Rear kitchens are the entertainer's floor plan, but they also work very good for, you know, hermits. <laughs> People who just don't want company, don't want the grandkids or whoever hanging out with them, and I respect that too. Um, you know, every brand has their own version of a rear kitchen. There's, there's different things they all do well. What I like here in the Summerland, or the SS series, I still call it Summerland just from my history with the Springdale series, but um, it is the beauty and the simplicity. Like right here, you know, th this little sofa. It, most people don't need a, a, a big, fancy, like heated massage theater seat in this category of RV. Now, when you're a big luxury fifth one, you're living in it, I get you want something a little nicer. But with just the inclusion of that little fold down armrest, kind of like the back of a, a pickup truck or whatever, you know, the back seat there. It, it can be a very theater-like seat, but you can also still fold it down very quickly and easily if the grandkids come through. Now, over here, your slide has really big windows, and uh, those slide side windows, um, they actually tilt open for rainy day airflow. The uh, dinette over here, I must have missed the switch because there's actually indirect lighting that uh, goes under those as well. Oh, the switch is actually in the slide out. There are indirect lights under those benches just to kind of help spark it up a little bit, give it, give it a little pop, but... They're also perfect little night lights. So if you do have guest, grandkid, whoever hanging out with you, um, you know, it, it's very easy to navigate this. Now we have all LED lighting, we have central air conditioning, we have centrally floor ducted heating. And remember I, I mentioned that, um, you know, largest in class furnace. This has a 30,000 BTU furnace on it. And what's crazy is like, that's the same furnace that pretty much every Springdale or SS series has. They give you, uh, you know, maximum heating capacity in these because they just, they, once they pick out what they want, that's what they use in everything. The, one of the things I like about a rear kitchen over a rear living room is storage. This just has a ton of storage in it. Rear kitchens give you more countertop space and more cabinet space than a rear living room has ever dreamed of. Um, your, uh, you've got your, your twin drawers off the edge of the peninsula countertop here. And when you are in the kitchen, it is like a, a wraparound cook-centric countertop. And you've got power outlets around for your appliances. Everything is within easy reach. Now, your uh, overhead storage here, it is all pocket screwed. They don't staple particle board built cabinets together at Springdale. This is all uh, lumber core, which means a real wood core just with a, a, a decorative wrap on top. Um, they also use uh, an extra little thing here on these shaker style cabinets, very residential looking in nature. They have little Teflon bumper glides on the insides of all of those cabinet door frames where the, uh, the this panel insert meets the door frame. And what that's doing for you guys is again, heat expansion and contraction. It helps that cabinet uh, prevent from like splitting when it gets really hot outside. Now when you look over here, this is an area I've seen some brands kind of miss. You see that they didn't fail to give you storage below the uh, kitchen here. Now, if I'm having a little bit of focus issues on the camera, that's atmospheric in nature. It gets so darn cold that uh, sometimes even the little bit of uh, you know frosty breath that I'm breathing out as I talk here, it messes with the camera focus. So I, I do apologize if that's taking place. There's just very little I can do about it. Um, you know, not a lot of dealers are going to take the time and effort in freezing cold sub, uh, uh, you know, zero situations like this to go through and give you a full video tour like we do. But customer service doesn't stop just because it's cold. You know, if, if you called our dealership and you said, hey, what's the measurement on this, that, or the other thing, would it be okay if, if the sales guy said, well, I don't know, I'll let you know in the springtime when it warms up? And the answer is no, of course not. That, that'd be garbage. Well, you know, service doesn't stop just because the temperature drops. That's nerdism number 37. <laughs> so, 
this is neat. This is a recent update, too, as compared to previous uh, members of this lineup, is that they've gone with these pushback recliners right here. Normally, you would have just got little barrel chairs, but they went ahead and bumped it up to a nice little pushback recliner, because, again, they're nailing all the things that really matter here. This is this is extremely well-crafted. It's built well to hold together long-term, but it's, it's simple. It's something that's just not going to break the budget. Now, the TV, like the power tongue jack we're looking at, that is an option in this RV at the time of this filming. So keep in mind, this may not be the exact one that we have in stock. Always remember, uh, visit our website so you can see what we have in stock, how it's equipped, all that good stuff. Although what I do like is when you do add the TV, it's a very high quality Furion, and it actually swings out, as you can see. And you can make it swing out in a more dramatic fashion to face your recliners over here. But it addresses a shortcoming that a lot of rear kitchens have. This rear kitchen floor plan, this is an old floor plan. I mean, this floor plan has been in production for longer than I've been in this business. Um, this thing has seniority on me, basically. But it was, it's was it been around for so long that it was made before people really cared about the entertainment in an RV. And that's become more of a hot-button item in recent years. So by having these uh, pushback recliners that you can twist and swivel around because they're not bolted to the floor, and a swing-out TV, everyone still gets a good look at this. Now, I want to draw your attention to something. These are the differences I look for. And at a glance, it's just nothing major. But it tells the whole story of this trailer, guys. This little coat hanger rack. It's certainly not an expensive thing. It's certainly not extremely impressive to look at, but it's the fact that if you look at it, it is a purpose-built, dedicated little piece right here. What they didn't do is they didn't take leftover chunks from other areas of the RV that they didn't use, and they didn't just repurpose a piece of wood and throw a couple of these little uh, googly-eye octopus coat hanger looking things on here for us. It is everything in this is premeditated and purpose built. Nothing is left to chance or accident anywhere in any Springdale. That's what I like about this. Now, your bathroom is very traveler's friendly because it's right next to the entry door. So uh, whether you're traveling or if you're just at your campsite and you don't want to, uh, you know, have to um, uh, traverse through the whole camper to get to the back of it just to get to the bathroom, you don't have to here. Uh, the uh, medicine cabinet in this category. Because uh, this, you know, this does fall into the price point and the budgets of a lot of very entry level type campers. Um, you'll tend to find a lot of mirrors just glued to a wall. This has an actual medicine cabinet. Now it's got that cool floating style mirror look to it, but it, there actually is a cabinet behind it, which is great. It's all you need. They also use the same split open easy entry shower here that they use on Big Brother Springdale. And you'll notice where you have your floor vents, they use the nicer metallic vents so when you step on them they don't break. Now, floor vented heating like that is the most efficient method of heating a camper. Remember, they're using a bigger furnace and more effective heating. Now, this is not a, a Four Seasons rated, as people like to call it, because no RV is truly Four Seasons. I, I'll, I'll mention that right now. If you want more clarification on that, you give me a call. Anyway, um, my point is, this is going to give you more protection than other things in this category. Are there other trailers that could perform better in a hot or cold camp scenario than this? Sure, for vastly more money, absolutely. Neat little laundry chute on this side as well. You see that little silvery handle right there? That drops through into your pass-through storage so that you can just leave a little laundry basket down there and uh, when you uh, get home from your destination, you can just you know pop the side door open grab the uh, laundry basket, start working on laundry, and you can deal with unpacking the camper tomorrow. And again, everything is simple, smart, premeditated, and extremely well executed. So give us a call here, 800-256-5196. Hey, RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Thanks for watching.